Hey, I'm Justin Lucas Savage of Backcountry Treks with my smoking hot wife, Christine. Uh, we're out here at Shelf Road, just a really amazing place. Um, it's been gorgeous. Yeah, this is my first time this far in, so we're out uh, kind of on the front range of Colorado. And um, I'm going to review these headsets here. Uh, this is a headset by Senna. This is the SMH10. So it's not their top of the line, um, but I'm going to give a couple of comparisons along the way. I've tested some that are even higher up that have some more features, but honestly, sound um, this sounds just as good uh, to my ears as the others. So it's a really simple headset. There's very uh, not much in the in the way of moving parts. Some of their top of the line models have. You know, an antenna that sticks up, this doesn't have anything. And so to turn it on, there's only two buttons here. You have what they call the phone button here on the uh, back of it. Uh, and then you have uh, the jog or dial button, uh, I think they call it. Both are pretty easy to hit with your gloves on. Very easy. Mm -hmm. um, and so to turn it on, you're just going to hold it for five seconds. I heard it beep. And then I, she says hello to me. and this. Uh, flashes, you, you may or may not have seen that, flashes blue when it comes on and then it flashes up to five times red to show you how much battery you have left. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't. So you can check your battery by turning it on um, and five means that it's full when you get the red flashes there. So that's an easy way to check that. On the back here you have uh, a port for uh, some audio in um, and then you have right here, this is how you charge it. So you have the, I can't remember if it's mini USB, I think it's mini USB, um, the slimmer one. To turn it off, you're just gonna press that once and I heard her say goodbye. And to pop it off, that's simply all you do. There's a little, kind of you just, in, a little indentation here and so you pop, you just push that down and then it pulls up and you'll see these prongs plug right into that. So bottom first, maybe that's an easier way to show it and then just clips right on. So it couldn't be easier there. Pairing is really easy to do. Um, they pair uh, real quick. Um, you just simply hold down. So if I'm gonna connect and we haven't connected before, we both hold this, I think it's about five seconds and it'll say pairing um, and then they'll connect to each other and, uh, and you hit one of them once. Uh, when you turn it on for the first time, it almost always pairs, and if it doesn't, I just tap this once, and it probably would do it ultimately um, in, the, in the end, but I'm impatient, <laughs> so I hit it. I'm impatient. Audio is really good. Um, we've yeah. ridden hundreds of miles together by now probably yep. with these on. Um, I've had the SMH10 on a kid's helmet, uh, and it works really well. I should show you the inside. There's not actually much to see on the inside here. So this is, I have the, uh, by, these are both Arai helmets. This is the X-D4. Christine has the X-D3. And they have a recessed area for, um, for the speakers. I want to say they're 38 millimeter speakers. It's sticking in my mind for some reason, if that means anything to you. Honestly, you know, I didn't look at sizes of speakers. Like, I just wanted something that works. And, and this definitely and delivers. Well. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'd say the only time that I can't hear quite well, we so we both run with earplugs in almost all the time, even when we're going slow. I have an aftermarket exhaust on the F800 here uh, that makes it about three decibels louder. And even when I'm off in the dirt going slow, um, I need earplugs in, or at least prefer it. Not uncomfortable at all. Um, I have noticed, I don't know if you can see, but my microphone right here, I'll bend it down a little bit, kind of hidden down there. Um, kind of hidden down there a little bit. There's an indentation. You need to make sure that's facing away from your mouth when you get this. But we really had, to, especially in the white, the X-D3 helmet here, we really had to play around with it. Um, we had some wind noise and whatnot going. Yeah, to get the wind noise gone, we had to play around with that. Um, we've just started playing with the side tone, so it'll put your voice, so when I'm speaking, it'll throw that back into the speakers, into the ears, so I can hear that, so I'm not trying to yell. Uh, that makes a big difference. Uh, to me. I don't know, Chris it kind of drives me crazy. Yeah, I don't Chris really like it Christine's much. not a big fan. Mm -mm. We're playing around with it today to, uh, you know, to see if it's something that we're going to continue to use. I think I probably will, uh, but at highway speeds, 50 and over can be a little hard to hear. Yeah, because um, there's so much wind noise anyway. Yeah, and going... with earplugs in, which, yeah. you know, you probably want. Um, 
but so we have this there's you know obviously a vent right here that I can open and close I almost always have that open and then there's one on the inside that I can open and close and I almost it's starting to get cold although now it's getting hot here but it was it's low super 30s cold this morning low 30s today so yeah we had that um, had that turned down um, wind noise wasn't an issue though um, 900 meters is what they say the uh, the distance between them before you'll lose it. Um, these run on Bluetooth 3. Some of the higher models um, run on Bluetooth 4, which I think it extends the range and there's some other features and stuff you get with that. Um, 900 meters, uh, I think that's right. Maybe it's 900 yards. It's almost, it's about half a mile. Uh, it's just over half a mile. We do not get that in Colorado. Uh, just because you go around a hill or something Mountains. with blue, yeah, with Bluetooth, anything in the way of these is going to start causing a little bit of stack. So you can, you know, kind of use that to figure out how far uh, away from your partner you are if you start getting that static. Um, but we don't even get close to that range simply because there's hardly ever any straightaways that we're on. Um, and for the, you know, mainly for that reason. Um, but otherwise, you know, I'm still playing around with the microphone placement. Um, this kind of runs through here in the way that the uh, Rye has the cheek pads uh, installed here. But um, really love this. I did make, I, I haven't really played around with, you know, making phone calls. Um, I think yeah, I- you called me once. I left Christine a message and you said it, was it wasn't- It, it was it wasn't, clear, yeah. Oh, it was the, clear. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, and you know, I think the you start getting up in models and you're gonna get better uh, microphone and the speakers are gonna be a little bit better as well. Um, but this is perfectly fine. I listen to music when I'm out by myself. I paired it once to my cell phone and I always have Bluetooth on on the iPhone 5 um, for right now. I always have the Bluetooth on. So as soon as I turn this on, the first thing it's, you know, turn it on, I think I hear two beeps and it says uh, cell phone connected. So it automatically connects to there. It'll pipe in your music, your GPS. So I had a GPS, you know, running Google Maps in my pocket, gave me turn by turn. I wasn't even looking at the phone and it turns down the music in order to do that. But that's just piping in your audio from your phone. So whatever your phone does, you're, um, you're gonna get in your, uh, in your speakers here. Um, what else do we want to add? I think you covered it. It's really cool to be able to run the, to run audio like this. Oh I, yeah, it's really nice. I, I can't learned. imagine trying to figure out where to go and because now we just you know, hey, where do you want to go? Are you feeling cold? What do you, you know? I, there's no, you know, I can tell him if I'm having trouble yeah. or if I need to stop. No hand or, signals. No, <laughs> it's it's super. It's really really. We nice. didn't have to learn sign language and learning how to ride. We're out on a shelf road here, kind of a semi-famous road in Colorado. This is where one of the areas where I really learned to ride off road and to go out with my buddy and to, to get live critiques instead of riding for five minutes practicing something, stopping, turn off the bikes, taking off the helmet or whatever so you can hear, getting that critique and trying something again, man, the learning curve is just shortened. Yeah. No, it's it makes it super, super convenient. And plus, it's not so quiet. You can have a chat while you're riding, which is nice. Yeah, surprisingly clear audio, it's actually. Very clear. Um, I've done a lot with headsets and aviation and some things and, and very surprised by what you get um, for the low cost that the SMH-10 is. Um, and will continue to fall, I think, as they come out with, uh, with newer and better models. Um, so yeah, but that's that alone, just to shorten that curve. And because this, when you're out with somebody, like it's a team sport, you want to be able to have fun and mm -hmm. talk, and and that's uh, that's a big part of the fun. So, yeah, highly recommend that. So when I'm, you know, super easy, we'll get back. Um, they do say 10 days of standby time and 12 hours of talk time. Again, depends on how you're using that, what you have it paired to, and and what you're running and stuff. But we'll go days. Um, and I'll remember to check them maybe the night before we do a ride, pull them out and just plug them in on the counter um, with that USB uh, just into a regular iPhone charger where you have plugged into your wall. And it uh, doesn't need long, it's all charged up and ready to go and real super easy to, once you mount them, it's real easy. You've got two screws on the inside here. I've put them on a lot of helmets and uh, never had any issues. BMX helmets, all kinds of stuff, works really well. 
So uh, again, from Senna, these are the SMH-10s that we're running. You get two to a box when you do that. Comes with a lot of accessories and fit options and stuff like that. So we'll list it all out in the below here on YouTube or in the blog post. I'm Justin Lucas-Savage, and this is Christine. We're with Backcountry Treks.